Um, as I said, we started in 2005, and we've really grown pretty uh, smoothly since then. Um, we really grow through word of mouth. We have very rarely done any advertising. Um, we're fortunate enough in the last five years to win the local newspaper's um, Best of the Best Award as the best internet provider in the county. Um, and that obviously helps. So our, our network has grown over the years, obviously. Um, we have two access or injection points for bandwidth, uh, one in the bottom of our network and one at the top of our network, and that's where we have 10 gig fiber connections, and they go back to data centers in the Bay Area and in Seattle, where we, we peer. So, in 2005, we started with Motorola Canopy, the uh, 900 megahertz system, and that worked really well for us. Of course, as uh, time went on, the speeds were not high enough and we were impacted very badly by the uh, smart meters of a local electricity company. We then started rolling out a lot of FSK canopy um, in 2.4 and 5.7. Eventually that uh, became too slow, so we started rolling um, 4.50 and EPMP. We did for a while put out a little bit of ubiquity, um, but the lack of sync, um, we really tried not to use it too much and as soon as EPMP came along we started to replace everything with EPMP because we really like to run a synced network. So today we have um, a lot of EPMP, I think we probably have about 150 access points, um, 1500 customers on that product and quite a bit of 450 uh, including 450 M's. And then for the 365, we have uh, some Telrad. Um, so our type of towers ranges from uh, people's homes where we might be repeating to 10 or 20 people uh, up to commercial towers. Uh, I think the largest tower we're on, we probably have in excess of 600 customers fed by that tower. Um, I think in total we probably have around 90 towers right now. I mean, there's no doubt the EPMP has more throughput for the same channel size than the Ubiquiti did, um, but it's really the sync is, is the main reason we love EPMP. Um, and of course the 2000 has uh, much better edges to the channels so uh, interference is less and we're tending to put up a, a lot of the uh, b-forming antennas because that really helps with the uh, the interference of the towers reducing it i mean our main challenges are i think what every wisp is suffering is not enough spectrum uh, so we're restricted really to how many APs we can have on a tower and of course as uh, everyone is streaming all the time nowadays um, we're restricted how many people we can put on an AP so when an AP fills up we actually make a hard limit and we stop any more installs for that AP so you know what we really need is more more spectrum <laughs> or more massive uh, multi-user MIMO equipment more spectrally efficient equipment right? yes yeah. <laughs> so we really you know the 450ms work extremely well for us and uh, can't wait to try that with the uh, 3000 series ah well canopy was a natural successor to motorola so as i say we've been using motorola in 2005 and we just kept going so we it's been our major uh, choice from the day we started. I think in, in the very start, it was the 900 megahertz system you had. It, it, we lived in a very rural treed area. And at that time, it was the very best system for the area we live in. Uh, technology has improved enough 
and we now have different locations and larger and taller locations where we can use 5.7, but we certainly weren't trying to use it in the first couple of years of operation. I think it's just the ability to serve people wherever they are. Um, it's, it's a great business from the point of view of people are so happy to see you when you turn up to install equipment and they're so happy to get your service. So it's a very pleasurable business to be in. I think the largest challenge for us is the area we operate in. It's very hilly, it's very treed. We're in the Sierra foothills. There's a lot of pine trees. So for our size of our footprint, we probably have a lot more towers than most. I think we're up to 90 transmission sites now. But they can't see very far, you know. They'll, they'll sit on top of a hill and the, the, the land's rolling, so they'll see this side, and we have to put another transmitter to see that side. And we have to get through trees. Uh, one of the things we probably do quite uniquely um, is installing custom equipment in trees. Um, we call them eco towers. Um, it's a pole, but it's alive. But it enables us to get um, a direct line of sight for our five gigahertz equipment. Oh, that's a, hang on, I have to think about that. <laughs> it's a bit out of the blue. Um, I get to talk about my business. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to say, I'm sorry. <laughs>